Hey you, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we're playing the daily challenge for April 15th, 2024. The character is the Watcher and the modifiers are Insanity. Start with a random deck of 50 cards. Blight, you may ignore path when choosing the next room to travel to. And Night Terrors, resting at rest sites, heals 100% of your HP but costs 5 max HP. So a lot of familiar names here. Sita with 1827, Mike with 1727, Warpal 1723, and Steven with 1602. Uh, although wide variety, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, this probably means a lot of people were able to survive. Watcher runs are usually a lot of fun. Let's see what the Insanity deck has in store for us. Already starting off with the Collector Mons on the Bowling Bash. Two Crescendos, that's good. A few ways to exit some of the empty cards. Um, two Pressure Points for Zero, it's just three Protects, six Third Eyes. So well, that, there's a candidate for something that I need to remove or transform. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty good. A little low on, um, on Waste to Enter Wrath, but I'm not unhappy. Yeah, let's see what I can do here. Alright, so in terms of Elites, only one two Elite Path on the far left. So, getting to this Elite, I can go this way, right? I'll get me, no, just three question mark rooms, a fourth one between the two Elites. Is there a way to get... A fifth one? No. No, I think it's just a, th a three question mark room path. And then the problem is, I guess I have two more question mark rooms after after the first elite. The problem is that I might have trouble losing HP. So uh, let's see if I, uh, well, let's see what I can do. Because I don't want to, I don't want to risk it. I guess the last regular fight is this one. So I could try to lose HP, but if I can't perfect the elites, I'll be in trouble, right? Especially with the uh, Watcher, when you enter Wrath, you might uh, take a lot of damage. All right, so here, let's start off with Foresight, Frostrate, Third Eye. Yeah, Crescendo is pretty good. Actually, I'll keep the Tranquility as well. And then let's just do Bowling Bash here. Okay. All right, so here, I think this looks fine. Um, let's do Sanctity after playing a skill like the Third Eye. All right. Wallop is pretty good. Uh, let's get rid of the Flurry of Blows and Third Eye. All right. Then do Sanctity. And then I can do Crescendo, Flurry of Blows, Just Lucky. And an Ignatian would apply Vulnerability next turn. A little risky. I'm not taking any damage here, but will I be able to deal enough damage myself? Let's get rid of the Protect, because I think I should try to kill here. Yeah, Wheel Kick is enough. Good. All right. Like Water, what, uh, Wreath of Flame, or Empty Body. I think Like Water is interesting, and I do have two copies of it. Let's take it. I guess I would like more ways to enter Calm with the Like Water. I don't think I need to remove anything. I know I said I have too many uh, Third Eyes, but um, I don't think I need to spend 50 gold on that. So let's just move on and spend that gold at a shop. I could avoid the shop if I go on the right. Because I have a guaranteed shop here. Let's do that because I don't think I need that shop. Hmm. Well, I don't need the early one. I would like the later one. Kill this one with a Bowling Bash. Um, might as well do this, uh, Lake Water and the Reality. Mm -hmm. And then here I can do Crush, Joints, Pressure, Points. And that's enough to kill. Beautiful. Got a Distal Chaos Potion, Swivel, Battle Him, or Crush, Joints. Now, in a large deck like this, Battle Him, an upgraded Battle Him might be actually very useful. Also, did I completely forget about the fact that I had the Flight Modifier? Wow. All right. Um... Missed the question mark room for no reason. Wow, that... It's, I have to admit, not the first time this happened, but it is annoying every time it does happen. All right. Ah, very annoying there. All right, let's kill this one with the wheel kick. And then I think I'll do third eye and play the pressure points. This looks fine. Ah, unbelievable. Skip the question mark room because of this. I hope that that doesn't affect any sort of RNG. Rush joints, like water, and then um, fear no evil and like water. That allows me to almost be fully defended, and I should be able to kill here with the flurry blows. Good. Got a weakness potion, third eye battle him, prostrate. A second battle him might be a little too much. I think I'll take. How many prostrates do I have? Just one. Yeah, I think I'd rather take a second prostrate. Okay. Alright, here I can lose some HP to get uh, potion belt. I'm gonna pick up gain two potion slots. That's really nice. And I don't think I need rest side, although one could argue I should upgrade that. Um, uh, battle him, but I think I can wait for the final rest side before fighting the boss. Uh, let's just do protect here to avoid taking any damage. Mm -hmm. All right, both are not attacking me. That's good. Let's do rush down indignation. See what I get. All right, bowling bash is enough to kill the backliner, and then I just need twenty damage to kill this one, which I should be able to do with a bowling bash. Good. All right, just lucky sense of time. Cut through fate. I would like... I don't have... Oh, never mind. I do have two Cutthroat Fates and only just one Lucky. Sense of Time is great, but let's try to go for a Collect Bones on the Cutthroat Fates. No Transform Upgrade. I think I'll transform one of the Third Eyes. Yeah, I have way too many. And I got Deva Form. That's a rare card. I might have to remove that. I'll keep it for now, but I'll remove it later. Um, Cauldron would be nice. Well, I'll have to spend all the gold I have. 
If I'm going for collector bonuses, a second crush joint would be useful. Follow up is not bad. I think the cauldron might be better to fight the um, the boss with it. Yeah, let's take cauldron. I'm gonna pick up Bruce five random potions. So I think I'll take the three. I don't think I need the explosive or the ancient potion. Okay. Uh, and there's nothing else I can afford right I didn't have enough gold. Pentograph at the Starboss Combat Seal, 25 HP now. Ah, oh boy. All right, let's take it. I also want to get the Alex like, Shiny modifier, which I might be able to do without, actually. I could have skipped this. We also got the Special Relic, as well as the Pain Curse. A Special Relic is Warp Tongues at the start of your turn. Upgrade a random card in your hand for the rest of combat, which is great. All right. Elite number one with the Grumman Knob. Not the best way to start. Third Eye, gonna get rid of everything that's not a skill, or that's not an attack. Alright, Wallop is actually really good. That might give me some block. No reason to play the Miracle yet. Okay. Alright, 14. Yeah, Wallop alone is not gonna be enough, right? I have to do Wallop and Perseverance. Let's do it. Wallop, Perseverance. Okay. Mm, I guess this might be the fight where I can't perfect. Um, let's see what the Cutthroat Fate gives me. I also have the Distal Chaos Potion. Cutthroat Fate gives me Building Mesh, Rush Down, or Foresight. If I draw one of them, I can... Yeah, let's get rid of these two. Uh, get the Bowling Bash, and then just play the Distal Chaos Potion here. Crescendo, Rush Down, and Third Eye. Get rid of all of these, because I would like more attacks. I didn't get any attacks. All right. Um, I could exit Wrath. Can I kill here? I don't think I can. Let's do Cutthroat Fate. There's a Crush Joints, which will apply Vulnerability after I play the Miracle. Then do crush joints, empty fist. Yeah, I can kill here. Beautiful. All right. It was worth it to use that potion. We got mango up and pick up race from HP by 14, which is great. Cut through fade, empty fist follow up. Let's take another cut through fade. That will be my collector bonus for that. Good. Mm -hmm. And then here I got the license looter. Let's target the backliner first. I'll do pressure points, battle him, evaluate. And actually, I'm fully defended. I guess I actually, maybe this is a regular fight before two more elites. Maybe I'm okay losing some HP because I also have the pentagraph, right? Um, I don't have a way to enter wrath. Let's do, I can't even kill the backliner. Let's do sanctity, then miracle, flying sleeves, smite, sash whip, and uh, might as well do rush down. Okay. Yeah, losing some HP here, which is good. Backliner is attacking again. That's good, too. Let's do Smite. I don't want to kill with the follow-up just yet. So I think I'll just wait. All right. Okay. And then here I can kill this one with a Smite. Let's do Foresight. And, uh, yeah, wait once again. I do want to take a little bit of damage before I move, move on. And I think this might take a while. So let's speed this up, and I'll be right back. Yeah, I think 22 is a good value. Let's kill here. We got a Flex Potion, Third Eye Sash Whip, or Cutthroat Fade. I already have enough Cutthroat Fades. How many Sash Whips do I have? Just one, yeah. And I definitely have enough Third Eye, so let's take the Sash Whip. And here I got the Leg of Ulin. Let's see if I can get some good powers played. Yeah, two Like Waters is good. Let's also do Third Eye. And um, a Rush Down next turn is pretty nice, too. Actually, let's keep another Third Eye for more Scrying. Okay. So here, let's do Rush Down to see Reality. That's pretty good, too. And then next turn, I do want to wake it up. Actually, there's a Battle Him and a Zeev Reality and a Foresight. Those are all things I want to play. Okay. All right, so Battle Him, Deceive Reality, and Foresight. So I haven't woken up the Lake of Loon yet, but I do have 12 Lake Water. Actually, I can bring it up to 17. That might be worth it. Let's get rid of these two. Okay. So, ooh, Deva Form is interesting. I won't be able to fully defend if I play the Deva Form right, so I don't think I can risk it. Um, let's do, uh, I think I'll do Bowling Bash follow-up, then Like Water, I also have to play the, uh, here, let's do Tranquility and Safety, let's also do a Flurry of Blows, okay, alright, another 18, uh, probably don't need the Protect, actually just lucky is enough, let's get rid of these two, okay, and then here I can do Sash Whip, just lucky, I could also just fully defend with the Wallop, right? Um, actually, two smites are better. No, let's do wallop now, and then I have three smites next turn that I can play. I'm hoping to enter wrath. Get rid of these three. Actually, I'll keep the cut through fade and follow up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a crescendo here, which means I can do, um, let's do prostrate. Okay. And then, um, yeah, smite, follow up. I think I should be able to kill here. Beautiful. Got lantern up and pick up, uh, what was it? A starish combo with additional energy. And then Protect Follow-Up or Fasting. I think I'll take a second Fasting, although Follow-Up might have been good. Sorry about that. I reloaded to not have wasted time because I received the call. All right, so let's do Bowling Bash Follow-Up here. Then Battle Him, Deceive Reality, and 
Getting a little nervous about this fight. I do have a Flex Potion and a Wallop. That might be good. Sanctity plus Wallop is 15. That's not going to be enough. I have to do Safety and Wallop, right? Well, I have to do Wallop either way. Let's do that. And then, can I do Tranquility like Water? That would be 16. No, I would have to play a Miracle for that. That I would be attacked by 18. Unless I throw a Weakness Potion, which I kind of wanted to save for the Hexaghost. But maybe that's better. No, let's do, let's do a Safety here. Okay. Just hoping for a way to enter Wrath next turn. Eight incoming. Well, there's Crescendo. I could do Tranquility Crescendo. And then I could play uh, 24, 48 plus another 20 is 58. I need 61. So I need a tiny bit more. And I have the Miracle, right? Yeah, so if I do Tranquility Crescendo, then do Bowling Bash, Smite, Smite. Oh, that, that was enough. Yeah, I miscalculated. Good, good. We got more bank. One of you climb the floor, gain 12 gold. No longer works when you spend any gold at a shop. As well as a Wreath of Flame, Bowling Bash, or Windmill Strike. I think I had plenty of Bowling Bashes, right? Let me... Oh, yeah, I had enough already. No Wreathing Flames. And what is... Or wreath of Flames. And Windmill Strike. I might take the Windmill Strike to try to get Overkill. So that might be a good thing to do. And then here, I think I'll upgrade the Battle Him. Uh, which should be at the end, right? Yeah, upgrading Battle Him here. Good. Mm -hmm. All right, so Hexaghost. Right, sorry about that. Okay, so let's try start off with Battle Him for sure. I think it's important to do Third Eye. I'm actually happy I got the Protect. Like Water might be useful. Cut through Fate as well. Let's keep everything here. And then I'll just do Bowling Bash and wait. Yep. I do have some good potions. Uh, oh, right, because of Pentagraph, I healed. For a second, I'm like, what, 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 ha what's, what is happening here? Uh, okay, that makes things a little harder. I definitely want to throw the Weakness Potion. All right, so then to defend against 18, I only have the 12 from the Protect. That is not good. Let's do just lucky. Prostate will give me a little bit of block, but it's not going to be enough. Let me see if the skill potion gives me a little bit extra block. Yeah, I have to take the perseverance, right? And then I have to play protect, so that's 19. Oh, that is enough. Okay, never mind. I thought I was worried there. All right, Um, in that case, uh, let's just do like water after all. All right. All right that weakness potion really helped me there. Okay, four incoming. Um, prostrate is enough. Um, Let's do... I don't think I can enter Wrath, right? So let's not do Crescendo yet. I'll do Smite. Play the two follow-ups for free. Uh, definitely do Prostrate. Um, another Smite? No, let's do Foresight. And then I'll do Smite or Flying Sleeves. Let's do Flying Sleeves. I can't play the Fasting. It would be great if I had Diva Form, but I don't have it yet. Cut through Fate, Pressure Points. Third Eye. Third Eye is enough to be fully defended. I don't think I need the Pressure Points. Okay. Let's do Flurry of Blows. Cut through Fate. Fear No Evil will give me some block. Actually, enough block to not have to worry about defense. So let's grab the Fear No Evil. A Flurry of Blows and then Smite. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another six. Get rid of the pain for sure. Two Perseverances might help me. Um, Here, uh, I would love to play the Deva Form. Actually, yeah, I have to like water, right? Let's do Deva Form. And let me also free up my hand because I will get lots of energy. Let's do Miracle. And then I'll do... How about one Smite? And I'll play the Perseverance just to free up my hand. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here, I think I'll enter Wrath now. It's a little risky, but I do want to try to kill as soon as I can. So let's do Crescendo. I'll get Flurry of Blows. I would have considered playing the Rushdown too. I probably should have done that, actually. Uh, Windmill Strike is not that useful yet. I do want to try to... I'm, I'm sort of on a clock. I have to try quickly. Uh, try to kill quickly. That's what I meant. Um, let's do Third Eye. Bowling Bash to see reality. Third Eye. I think I'll just focus on damage. Another third eye. Yep, definitely focusing on damage. And I do have a fire, an attack potion and a flex potion still. All right, 18 incoming. Need to kill here. Um, let's do bowling bash, follow up, smite, and that is enough. Phew. All right, perfect this one. It was a bit of a challenge, but I was able to do it. Scrawl Diva for Master Reality. I think I'll remove the Diva form I have and go for Popper. So let's skip all of those. And then here, Holy Water is nice. Um, I don't think I'll take Ectoplasm. Tiny House would give me max HP or extra points because I already have Mango. Uh, like Holy Water is really nice though. Tough choice. But I think I'll take the Tiny House. I'm going to pick up between one potion, gain 50 gold, raise your max HP by five, obtain one card and upgrade one random card. The random card upgrade was pressure points. I got a fire potion and a second Flurry of Blows or... How many just luckies do I have? Just one just lucky, right? So, um, yeah, and one flurry of blows. So let's just grab a second flurry of blows. So that might be a little better. All right, awaken or a collector at the end. And this time, let me remember that I have the uh, flight modifier, which means I can hit uh, four out of the five elites, which is pretty good. And I'm gonna maximize question mark rooms. I did get five question mark rooms, or did I get six in the last act? I forget. 
Must have been either five or six. Let's do battle him. Steady. One of these days, I should. I also should try to get the combo modifier by um, just waiting for the study to do, do a thing. All right, sorry about that. Here, I might have trouble defending. I think I'll do... I would like to play... Yeah, let's do smite and the follow-ups. Okay. And then let's just do protect, I guess. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, 20 incoming. I could do tr crescendo tranquility. Let's do flurry of blows, then crescendo. Flurry of blows again. Um, wheel kick is 30 damage. I need... Actually, yeah, and I can do wheel kick and smite. Good. All right. Uh, crescendo flurry of blows. Wreath of flame. I would love another crescendo. And pre-upgraded. A uh, third flurry of blows is also nice, but I think it's more important to have more ways to enter wrath. Here, Necronomic Curse would be really nice. I got a Caridian at the Savage Combat. Add a random power card into your hand. It costs zero for that turn. That might give me some good powers. I'm not too upset about that. I don't think I need to remove anything. I do only have one curse, so it might be hard to get curses. I think here I'll do the shop because I don't think I need a regular fight. Duality is interesting. Bag of Mobbles might be better. Again, I don't see any good cards, although how many how many prostrates do I have? I think I had two. Yeah, I, had, I did have two. I think Orange Pellets. I don't get a lot of debuffs. Although it would remove the debuff from the Fasting. That might be a good combination. I think I'll take the Orange Pellets. One of you play a power attack and skill in the same turn, remove all few debuffs. And actually, that together with Duality would be great. But then I won't have any gold left over. No, I think I'll, I'll risk. This is a great relic. It's just too expensive. I think I'll take Bag of Marbles instead. At the Savage Combat, apply one vulnerable to all enemies. And let's also take the Fasting. Prostrate and uh, sure, let's do concentrate. Okay, all right. Oof, I am going for collector bonuses, so I guess I'll take the apparitions. Yeah, good thing I had some extra max HP, although obviously I'm going to lose my max HP modifiers. Twelve incoming, and nothing I can do here, right? Um, let's do devotion for free. I'm trying to think if there's anything I can get with the power or attack potion. I mean, wallop would be my only thing. Let me risk it. Yeah, I guess Wheel Kick might do something to it. Might draw me something I need. Uh, let's do Flurry of Blows, Wheel Kick. All right, Sanctity is six, and then Light Water is five. Ah, it's so close. Let's do Miracle Sanctity. Okay, there's an Apparition. Uh, wait, can I play? If I play an attack, I can also play the Fasting, right? Yeah, let's do Fasting, Apparition, and then Empty Fist. Okay. All right, beautiful. So now I basically just get extra Dex and Strength and didn't lose energy for that. Another Apparition, very lucky. Um, although I do need a little bit of block. Oh, no. I think that little bit of block has to be the protect, right? It's a bit wasteful, but what can I do? Hmm? 18. All right. No more apparitions. Uh, that, that's probably a little too much here. Uh, let's do flying sleeves. I can weaken it down to 12, but then the deceive reality is not going to be enough. Mm, I do Christian. No. I'd like to play the follow-up. I also would like to play the Sash Whip, and I can't decide between them. Let's do Deceive Reality and Safety. I think that's the safest thing to do. And then uh, I won't play either of those. Let's do... Actually, I could have done Third Eye. That was a mistake. I should have done Third Eye too, right? Okay, fine. 24. There's an Apparition. That's really good. Uh, let's do Apparition, Deceive Reality, and um, Tranquility, because then I have Crescendo and another Tranquility to play. Let's also do Flurry of Blows. Okay. Very happy with how when I drew the apparitions. Okay, another apparition here. All right. Let's do Flurry of Blows, Cut Through Fade, and I'm in Divinity. So can I kill here? Let's do Just Lucky for free. Get rid of this. I'm trying to get attack cards because I think I should have enough. Oh, yeah, I definitely have enough. Beautiful. Perfect this one. We got Shuriken. Every time play three attacks in a single turn, gain one strength. Empty Mind, Indignation, or Prostrate. I just need another Prostrate, right, for a Collector Bonus. Yeah, let's grab that. Mm -hmm. Elite number two, Slavers. Yeah, my first turn is... Not my best one. I do have the Explosive Potion. Bowling Bash does a good amount of damage. Um, only 21, though. Well, actually, no, 30 with the vulnerability. So let's do Bowling Bash. Yeah, I couldn't have done Crescendo, right? No way to do that. I guess I could have done the um, Flex Potion. I think I will do that. Well, or, I mean, if I can't perfect this one, might as well save that potion, right? I will drink the Explosive Potion. I think that's useful. And then this is not enough to kill the Backliner, but it gets me close. And I have another Bowling Bash. Let's play the Battle Hymns. Okay, definitely taking damage. Maybe I should have just saved the Explosive Potion too if I'm saving potions anyway. A little low on HP though, so I'm getting a little worried here. Let's do Apparition. Flurry of Blows to kill the Backliner. And then I should have done Bowling Bash first. Actually, I could do here. Let's do Crescendo. Flurry of Blows, Third Eye to not take any more damage. Get rid of everything because I think I should be able to kill. And then 28 damage with the Bowling Bash. Let's also play the Smites. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here I can kill. Good. 
Yeah, no real chance of perfecting this one. I get tiny chests. Every fourth question mark room is a treasure room. That decreases the chance of getting curses, so I don't think I'll take it. Let's take the weakness potion, and um, I do have two pressure points. I don't have any of the others, so let's take another pressure points. All right, want to fight this one. I'm a little worried that I have low HP. 10 incoming. I do have Deva form. That's good. No way to defend, though. Can I kill this one? If I do cut through fate... Yeah, cut through fate, flurry of blows, pressure points might not be a bad idea. Another cut through fate. Okay, unfortunately I will have to draw the apparition or play the apparition this turn, which is fine. Or I can just grab the protect for later. And then pressure points kills this one. Let's do, um, how else do I do this? No, I think I'll just do pressure points there and another pressure points here. And then I think I will also play the battle him. All right, fine. All right, losing decks, 19 incoming. There is an apparition here. That's good. Let's just do that. And I think I won't do... Let's do third eye. Avoid taking any damage. And then this looks fine next turn. Get rid of the uh, um, Flurry of Blows, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the pain is actually getting annoying with the little HP that I have. Let's definitely do the Prostrates. Then um, Bowling Bash. Do I have enough to kill the Backliner? If I do Smite, Bowling Bash, um, another Smite is not enough. Unless I throw a, f a fire potion. Or if I drink the flex potion finally. Let's do that. Kill this one with a smite. And then do deceive reality or protect. Deceive reality will give me 9 plus 2 plus 4. That is enough to be fully defended. Okay. Hmm. Alright, 10 incoming. Can I kill with the crescendo here? Um, I do have flurry of blows, right? Yeah, let's do crescendo. Then play the flurry of blows. Consecrate and smite for a kill. Good. All right, we got a red mask at the starvage combo by one weak to all enemies, a dex potion, and empty fist or bowling bash. I had enough bowling bashes, right? Yeah, let's take the empty fist then. Okay. All right, here I got old coin up and pick up again 300 gold. That's really nice. And then here I got a shop. Okay, good thing I got that old coin just now. Pressure points would give me a collector bonus, right? Do I want clockwork to near? Not really. I think strawberry is better. Up and pick up raise your HP by seven. Also gives me actual HP, which is sort of valuable. Let's also take the Tranquility Pressure Points. Uh, let's take another Flurry of Blows, which means I won't be able, able to afford another Relic. But I think that's fine. I also would like to take the Essence of uh, Steel. Yeah, I think that was a good shop. Okay. All right, Book of Stabbing again. Okay, well, at least I start with Apparition. Let's do Master Reality and Battle him together. Those are really good. Then do the Apparition. I don't have a way to enter Calm at the moment. I think I'll do Evaluate and then Light Water and hope to get a way to enter Calm soon. All right, 18. Well, there is a way to enter Calm, but I don't have enough. I can weaken it down to 12. It's not going to help me perfect things, though. Yeah, fine. Uh, let's do uh, Miracle, Tranquility, Deva Form. And then I will throw the Weakness Potion just to avoid taking too much damage. Okay, so I'm definitely losing the perfect here, and I'm down to 9 HP again. All right, luckily I get, got an Apparition here. Let's do Rush Down. Cut through fate. Um, foresight is actually kind of nice. Let's play that. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Another 16. There's another like water and sanctity. I think I like both of those. Um, like water will bring you up to 10 block every turn, right? Uh, swivel would make something cost zero. I don't think if I need that, though. Let's just do another like water. Let's do pressure points, sanctity. See what I get. All right. I have 16 already, so I'm fully defended. Um, should I do Swivel? Yeah, you know what? Let's do Just Lucky. Keep the Crescendo and then try to kill with that Crescendo next turn. Or, yeah. Can I deal so much damage, though? Um, I do have Tranquility, too. I have a Crescendo as well. Uh, let's get rid of these two. Okay. So I think here what I'll do is I'll play a Perseverance. No, let's do Third Eye. Okay, get rid of the Pain. That's good. Then do Crescendo. All right. And then uh, Windmill Strike for 40 damage. That's pretty good. And then I'll do Sash Whip, Smite. Actually, I think I can kill with the upgraded Smites, right? Beautiful. All right, didn't perfect this one, but survive. We got Stone Calendar at the end of turn 7. Deal 52 damage to all enemies. I wonder if I should have skipped this one because it makes it harder to get combo. But I'll take it. Fear no evil, Flurry of Blows, or Consecrate. I have not enough Flurry of Blows. I would like another Fear no evil, though. But let's take a Collector Bonus on the Flurry of Blows first. Okay. Mugu, uh, Mooder, what, what? Looter and Mugger, not Mooder and Lugger. Mooder, Looter and Mugger, wow. Um, all right, let's do... I'm actually a little worried I might take too much damage here. Let's do Like Water, Flurry of Blows, Prostrate, Battle Him, and um, Third Eye is not enough. Um, I would like the Like Water next turn. Actually, I have the Fasting too, right? Yeah, and then let's do... Let's do Protect to avoid taking any damage. Could have drank the Essence of Steel if I really wanted to. 
All right, 20 incoming. If I play an attack, I can keep the extra decks, but that won't save me here. Um, I have a second like water, but no way to really... Can I kill this one? If I do smite and pressure points, let's do pressure points, then smite, and then an attack push. And I think I need to do that, otherwise I might be dead. And then let's do third eye, empty fist is good. I can also do indignation with the empty fist. Um, here, let, let me also do like water and rush down. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I'm not being attacked here, that's good. Wait, didn't I have an... In did I discard the indignation? I did. Okay, for some reason I thought I was going to keep it. Well, I, I planned to keeping it and I accidentally discarded it. But I think I can do empty fist, um, smite, and then should be able to kill. Just need 25 damage. Um, let's do smite, flying sleeves. That's not enough. Uh, wheel kick, wheel kick is enough. Phew, all right. Okay, I got my gold back, cut through fate, crush Jones, car reality. Did I get enough cut through fates? No. Um, did I get enough? Uh, no, I do. I do have enough cut through fates. I have one crush Jones and no car realities. Let's take another crush Jones then. All right, one more lead. I'm a little worried that the fact that I only have six HP, but against the government leader, I might get lucky. Also starting with apparition and no way to kill. That is actually really unfortunate. Oh, that is a bummer. All right, well, no chance to do anything else. Let's do battle him. Apparition, third eye. I will need block next turn, so let's get rid of everything here. And then I think I'll do third eye or foresight. Let's do foresight. Basically, same thing as the third eye. Next turn might take a lot of damage. I need the apparition. Mm -hmm. All right, lots of incoming. No more weakness. Uh, there is a wallop. That's good. Get rid of these two. Okay, luckily I did get an apparition. Phew, I would have been in a lot of trouble without it. All right, let's do miracle. I think I'll do cut through fate, then follow up. Uh, can I kill one of the minions? Yeah, let's target the weaker one. Cut through fate, take the empty body because I don't need it to follow up. And then wallop. Oh, I'm weakened, right? So that doesn't even deal enough damage to kill one of them. At least I'm guaranteed not to be attacked next turn. Okay. Uh, the sea free, I like water. Let's get rid of these two. I need to desperately kill the fat grubbins here. Bowling bash kills one of them. Good. Then I can do bowling bash the backliner and then cut through fate. Um, ah, too bad I can't play the follow up. All right. Really hope I don't get attacked. Did I? Yes, I'm not being attacked, right? Yes, good, good. Well, I'll prostrate Crescendo. Let's keep the Crescendo. I might actually consider playing that. Uh, so let's do Crescendo. Then just lucky. Uh, probably don't need the pressure points. And then do the smites. Uh, follow up. Don't forget about that. Okay. And then next turn is... No, Windmill Strike alone is not going to be enough. But Windmill Strike together with a um, smite. Oh, and I'm in Divinity. Yeah, too bad I'm not dealing more than 100 damage. Okay. All right, perfect this one. Very happy because if I took damage there, I would have been dead. I would have been dead. Now right, I got unseasoned top. Whenever you have no cards in hand during your turn, draw a card. An explosive push and protect sense of time or just lucky. I think I just had one just lucky and how many protects? Three protects. So let's grab a collector of on those. Okay. All right, regular fight here. Will be kind of hilarious if I die here because I did so well so far. Um, so 12 incoming. I can defend with the protect. Uh, let's do study, protect. Battle him, and I'll do pressure points. Okay. A little worried about this fight, actually. Mm -hmm. I do have some good potions, so maybe they will help. 16 incoming. There's an apparition. That's good. Uh, let's do... How do I do this? Let's definitely do the apparition and prostrate. And then crush joints, cut through fate. Another cut through fate is good. Okay. And I think I'll do the miracle, so I can do one more cut through fate. Uh, grab the sanctity, and then also play the upgraded smite. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, backlash not attacking. I do have 18 incoming here. I think I'll risk entering Wrath here. So let's do Crescendo, Consecrate, follow up. And then Crush Joints and a Smite to kill the backliner. Good. Phew. All right, got through this act. We've got a Stanship Potion, which might be useful. Uh, flurry Blows, Study, or Flying Sleeves. I had very few. Yeah, I had enough Flurry Blows. I had one Flying Sleeves. And how many studies did I have? Just one. So I don't think I need more studies. I th actually, more studies would make it easier to get combo. No, let's take the flying sleeves. I think that's more important. All right, and then here I'll... Actually, is there anything I need to upgrade urgently? Not really. Upgrading the fasting it seems like a good idea. Yeah, I guess I could have rested, but I think this is fine because I'm healing thanks to the uh, pentograph. All right, starting with apparition is annoying because, um, yeah, I don't need to be intangible this turn. I think I will risk and drink the power potion here. Master Reality, I already have a copy of. Establishment or Rushdown. Establishment might be nice. Let's take that. All right, then do battle him. Master Reality... Prostrate, um, study, and empty fist. Okay. Mm -hmm. I also still have the dex potion. Back then, it's not attacking. That is actually very nice. Um, let's see. So, let me see what the insight... Let me play first uh, the prostrate first, then do insight. Ah, there's the pain. That's annoying. 
I could do rush down crescendo, but then I won't be able to exit wrath. Although I do have the stanchion potion. Fine, let's do rush down crescendo. Okay. I should have played the flurry of blows first. That might have been a mistake. Let's do flurry of blows now. Smite is 32. That kills a stronger one. And then third eye is 7 plus 4 is not enough. So I think I have to drink. Let's do flurry of blows and then drink the stance. Or, yeah, let's drink the stanchion potion, enter calm, and then do flurry of blows. Oh, I'm still not fully defended. Okay, I need to play the Deceit Reality as well. And then might as well do Flurry of Blows. All right. Okay. All right, unfortunately, Backlander is attacking me here. Oh, boy. I need 31. I could kill this one, I think. If I do Crescendo, then Empty Body. I think I'll do that. Let's do Crescendo. Then play the Flurry of Blows to kill this one. Actually, I would love to play Fasting, too. I think I can. Yeah, let's do Fasting. All right, no debuff there. That's good. Empty body is... I need 21, right? So it has to be the safety as well. Uh, wait, so empty body safety is enough. Actually, evaluate an empty body. That'll be 21. Yeah, uh, 22 actually. So I can play one attack here with the cutthroat fate. Just lucky is fine. And then I'll have prostrate for next turn. Okay. And then let's do empty body. Actually, I can play one more attack. No, no. I wanted to do empty body and evaluate, right? Two more flurry of blows and then evaluate. Beautiful. Okay. Mm-hmm. Not being attacked here, that's good. Although now I would love a way to um, enter Wrath again. Flurry of Blows, follow up. Um, I kind of want to. I kind of want to save the Smites. Uh, let's do. Let's play one Smite and then a Third Eye. Apparition might be useful next turn. I'll get rid of the Flurry of Blows though. Okay. All right, sorry about that. Here, I think I'll do Rush Down. Another Rush Down though. Yeah, might as well. Actually, no. Let's do Pressure Points, then Rush Down, then see what the Inside gives me. No way to enter Wrath yet. All right, I'll do Bowling Bash. Should I free up my hand? Let me play this Smite just again to free up my hand. Okay. I really need a way to enter Wrath. Okay, I'm being attacked here. Luckily, I did get an Apparition. That's use very useful. I will need to defend still. Actually, I don't have any Light Waters active, do I? No. Um, I guess let me see what the Inside gives me. All right, let's do... I have to play the Safety, which seems like a waste. But nothing else I can do about that, all right? And then, actually, I could have just drank the Essence of Steel, right? Yeah, that, that was definitely an option. Let's do Smite, another Smite. Or should I do Sash Whip? Yeah, let's do Sash Whip. Won't kill this one quite. Flying Sleeves, that, that kills. Okay, and also freeze on my hand. You know what? Let me also do Tranquility and play the Flurry of Blows here to kill the other one. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, and here the Stone Cavern will deal enough damage. Can I defend, though? 21, I have the Wallop and Perseverance, right? Yeah, that is enough. So let's do Wallop. And then Preserverance. There's no better way, right? Okay. All right. And then one one more um, one more Prostrate, and I'll be able to enter Divinity. Let's do another Pressure Points, Cut Through Fate. Ah, there's a Deva Form, which I can't play. All right, let's just do the follow-ups then. Follow-up, and then Smite, and that's enough to kill. All right. Didn't get overkill, but was able to affect this one. We got a Fear Potion, Deva Form, Wish or Brilliance. I'll... I won't take any of them because I still have to remove that Diva form. Snekwai is tempting, but I do have a lot of zero cost cards, so I don't think I'll take it. I also don't really want Sozu, and I don't really want Velvet Choker, so I guess I could take Sozu again. Energy at the start of your turn, you can no longer obtain potions. It's not that I'm sad with the potions, but I wish I had more. But yeah, fine, let's do Sozu just because I didn't like the other relics, and I do feel like I need the extra energy. All right, so we got the Awakened one at the end. One, two, three. I can hit. Three of the four elites, that's good. And again, going to maximize question mark rooms. Although, so far, I only have one curse, which means it's going to be very difficult to get the curses modifier, but theoretically possible. All right, let's do the bowling bash, then follow up. Okay, flying sleeves can kill this one. Do I want to kill one of them? Yeah, I think I'm okay taking the damage. No, let's actually, let's be safe and kill one of them, then do pressure points and battle him. Okay, that way I only take six damage rather than the 11. Another 16. Uh, there is an apparition here. Let's also do pressure points and wheel kick. Okay. I guess I can. I should play the Deceit Reality as well. Both to not take any damage here and to have the safety for the future. Hmm. Another 8. Um, yeah, let's do rush down, flurry of blows, follow up. Foresight, uh, smite, and yeah, might as well do the apparition. Okay. Hmm. All right. 16 just lucky is fine and preserving or the uh cut through fit is also good too bad i couldn't get rid of the pain um let's do let's do can i kill this one let's just smite cut through fate prostrate it's not really necessary third eye is better i think yeah let's do third eye 
Uh, Cutthroat Fates would have been great this turn. I think I'll just do safety and accept the damage just because... Yeah, fine. Let's do just lucky as well. Okay. Yeah, that pain is getting really annoying. If I don't get curses, I'll be a little upset about having to waste a lot of um, HP for that pain. Uh, here, I can do Bowling Bash for 30 damage. Let's deal damage to this one. Then Cutthroat Fate to kill you. That's another Bowling Bash coming up. And then I can kill this one. Beautiful. All right, uh, Empty Fist, Consecrate, Cutthroat Fate. I already had enough Cutthroat Fates, right? Between, I only had one Consecrate and I think just one Empty Fist. No, I had two Empty Fists. Let's take a third one, okay? Here, let's see what I get. Madness, Panache, Panacea, Luth. All right, not a huge fan of any of these. I guess I have two Swift Strikes, although it would be very difficult to get a collector most on those. I don't think any Panacea. Yeah, fine, I'll, I guess I'll take the Madness. Here's Swift Strike, and here, I don't think it's going to be possible to get a Collector Bonus, so I think I'll take the Jack All Traits, which might be a little better. That was uh, not what I wanted. Mind Blast would have been great there. There's Curse number two, although it is an innate curse, so that's a little annoying. And then Curse number three and four. Okay, also a lot of gold. So I should try to hit a shop. There is a shop at the very end. There are actually two shops if I need to hit both of them. Okay. All right, so here, let's do Empty Fist follow-up, Empty Body. I could play... Let's play all the skills. I could play the Dex Potion to avoid taking any damage by Vilsozo. I'd rather keep them for the boss fight. But I do have to be a little careful here not to accidentally die. Uh, let's do Protect, Prostrate, and then Empty Fist. And let's do Tranquility. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another 16. All right. Um, I think I'll do Smite follow-up. Then um, let me see what the Wheel Kick gives me. Hoping to get some good... Def Ooh... Yeah, that's why I really don't like the normality. I would have been able to be intangible that turn, but no. Uh, here I can just do Crescendo and then kill with the Smites. Okay. Lost a lot of HP there, actually. Flying Sleeze, Indignation, Wave the Hand. I don't have any Wave the Hands. I had one Flying Sleeze, I believe. No, two. And one Indignation. I think I'll take a third Flying Sleeve. Okay. All right, Reptomancer. have to be very careful here. Okay, there is a follow-up there. That's good. Flurry of Blows is 6 plus another 10. That's 16. Not enough. With the Explosive Potion, that would be enough to kill one of them. Okay. So, let's do Flur uh, Flurry of Blows and follow-up. Okay. Then battle him like water, and I'll play the Protect to avoid taking any damage this turn, but might be tough for the next few turns. Alright, Reptomancer is not attacking. That's good. There's an Apparition. That's also good. Um, so, let's do Apparition, and then I think I'll do... Smite Sash Web and the Sieve Reality. Okay. Hmm. So Maclan is disappearing. Everyone is attacking me here, and I have the pain as well. That is annoying. Alright, 16 plus 7, 23 plus another 4 is 27. I need uh 35. Mm. Can I kill this one? If I do smite and follow up, that's 19. I'm close to being able to. Yeah, let's do smite and follow up. Then cut through fate to kill this one. Foresight, empty mind. I'll I think I'll I'll just grab the empty mind. And then safety and uh no, I I have to do miracle, safety, empty body, and then deceive reality. Oh, well, fully defended, but I'm down to 13 HP. Another 30 incoming. Luckily I got an apparition here, that's really good. Actually, can I do can I also do indignation? I think I'll risk it. Let's do third eye, get rid of the normality and the flurry of blows. I probably don't need the Light Water either. Then do Indignation. Okay. Play the Flurry of Blows. And then also do a Smite. Gain extra strength. Okay. And I'm sort of hoping to not be attacked this turn. Because I still have to deal a lot of damage. And I don't have a way to exit Wrath. Um, let's do Consecrate Cut Through Fate. Uh, let's grab another Cut Through Fate. Yeah, I'm not sure what I was hoping for here. I guess a way to exit Wrath would, be, would have been nice. 28... Um, no, no, nothing I can do here, right? Uh, the best I can do defense or offensively is the smite and pressure points. Now, if I had the vulnerability potion, would that have been enough? Let me try this. I, I don't want to give up on um, entering wrath in the turn I did, uh, but but maybe I should have th drank the um, the uh, vulnerability potion. It is the fear potion. It is a shame. I, I guess I'm not doing that to... Well, I am doing that to perfect, but I'm also doing that to survive. Let's throw this. Do this, the follow-up. Okay. Then battle him like water. Yeah, this stayed the same. Okay. Hmm. Now here I got the apparition, right? Yes, beautiful. I got the apparition. I still have to play the deceive reality. Or did I do? I think I did smite and sash whip, and then deceive reality. Yep. Okay. Not that matters, but you know. 
All right, and then here, what did I do here? I killed one of them with Cut Through Fate. Actually, I think I'll throw the Fear Potion already. So let's do Cut Through Fate. Get rid of both of these, I believe, right? Or did I keep the Empty Mind? I forget. I hope that doesn't mess up the RNG. Then do Follow Up, then Smite. And then I did Safety, Empty Body, and Miracle to see Reality. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so here I got the Apparition. All right. Then Indignation. Lady Flurry of Blows. Then Wheel Kick. I'm not sure. Oh, uh, wait. I also need to defend. Um, I don't know if I should drink the uh, the Dex Potion or the uh, Essence of Steel here. Yeah, fine. Let's do that. And then do Wheel Kick. All right. I drew the Normality there. That's fine. I think I messed up the RNG somewhat. Yeah, because I don't think... Well, let's try this. Let's do Consecrate. Play these Smites. Okay. Actually, that is enough. Beautiful. All right, perfect this one. Thanks to a bunch of potions, though. Yeah, we go pull. Whenever you're resting, an additional 15 HP. Third eye, empty fist wallop. I already have... Well, no, I only have three empty fists, right? I only have one wallop. Yeah, let's get a collect bonus on the empty fist then. I am considering resting because I'm a little low on HP and I'm worried. Just the pain alone might be annoying. So, and the other options are regular fights. I think I'll rest here. Okay. All right, back to full HP. That makes me feel a little better. All right, giant head. Um, I would love to get combo here. Let's battle him. Foresight. Empty mind to see what I get. All right, sanctity. Okay. And then let's just do just lucky. Protect this fine. And uh, wallop. Sure. Okay. All right, so I'm not being attacked here. I, I guess it's not a bad idea to keep all of these, actually. Let's do that. All right, uh, let's do prostrate. Um, like water. I guess I can do tranquility. And then bowling bash and smite. All right. I'm not happy with how little damage I've been dealing so far. There's an apparition that's good. Steady fasting. Yeah, all of them are good. Um, I can only play three cards, though. So it has to be a power, a skill, and an attack. All right, beautiful. So, yeah, I just got extra dex, which is nice. Mm -hmm. Dex and strength, I should say. Another 13, another apparition that's good. Get rid of these two. Okay. Mm -hmm. Two apparitions. Yeah, let's play them just in case. All right, then do Foresight, and um, I guess I'll do... Yeah, let's do Smite. I'm intangible next turn. Okay. All right, so here I think I'll enter Wrath with the Indignation. I don't think I need this. Actually, I would like to empty the Tranquility. Get rid of these uh, four. Okay. All right, so here I'll do... I'd love to do Crush Joints. Let's do Indignation first. Then Crush Joints, Flurry of Blows. Uh, wheel kick is 70. Can I get overkill here? I don't think I'm that far away from being able to. Uh, flying sleeves. Wheel kick 80, 85. So close. I think I need to play a few more cards to be able to get that. A 91. So if I do... If I do the protect, then this is 96. Ah, So close. I need to play one more card. Yeah, see, if I had these zero cost cards earlier, I would have been able to get overkill there. That's a bummer. All right, and then here I should be able to kill with any decent attack. And at least I perfected this one, so I'm not too upset, but would have been nice to get combo there. We got Teardrop Lockhood, Starage Combo and Calm. That's really good, as well as a, right, no potion. Steady Empty Fist Inner Piece. I have enough Empty Fists already, and I only have one Steady, but no Inner Pieces, so let's take a second Steady. Mm -hmm. Got Oracalcum. If you enter turn without blocking, 6 block. Really useful for when I'm intangible. All right, Nemesis here. 18 incoming. I do have the Apparition and the Oracalcum, so that's good. Uh, yeah, let's do battle him. Foresight, rush down, apparition. I don't think I'll play the empty fist because I do want to stay in calm. Mm -hmm. Not being attacked here. Uh, this looks fine. Okay. Uh, let's do prostrate, pressure points, like water. And uh, yeah, might as well play the attacks. I don't want to save them in my hand. Might as well play them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another 18. Uh, don't need the flurry of blows. Um, actually, I might get rid of everything trying to get defensive cards. Uh, that sort of worked with the Wallop, I guess. And the Sash Whip. Yeah, that's actually really good. Let's do Flurry of Blows, Sash Whip, Wallop. Allows me to be fully defended thanks to the Light Water. Then do Just Lucky. Evaluate is fine. Pressure points and wait. Mm -hmm. Alright, 45. That's a big attack. Evaluate to see Reality and Prostrate are all good, but I need more. Actually, these are all defensive cards. That's really nice. Um, do I have enough? So 7, 14, 18... That's another 4, so 22, 34, 38. Yeah, I, I only have enough if I drink the next potion. All right, don't have any potions left for the boss, but uh, what can you do, right? Um, I don't have any card draw. This looks fine next turn. 
prostrate to see reality evaluate empty body and then to flurry of blows safety okay allows me to be fully defended bummer though i had to lose off all my potions this looks fine okay let's do the sash whip here all right cut through fate pressure points is actually not a bad idea here would deal a lot of damage okay jack of all trades gives me a deep breath do i want to reshuffle let's let me see what that gives me all right another cut through fate i won't mind another protect and then i think i'll do the smites while the enemy is intangible or not intangible okay mm -hmm. and 12 incoming i am defending against that uh let's do follow up flurry of blows prostrate crush joints and then um let's play the unupgraded protect first and i can do empty fist okay I think the smite should be enough, right? Ooh, big attack again. All right, let's keep the cut through fate, actually. Uh, three smites is enough, right, with the extra strength. Beautiful. All right, perfect this one. Had to use all my potions. So we got anchor, slash call with 10 block. No potion, potion anymore. Flurry of Blows, Wreath of Flame, or Prostrate. I have enough Prostrates and Flurry of Blows, so I, I guess I'll take the Wreath of Flame. Oh, I almost forgot I have to remove a rare card at a shop, right? Yeah, let me make sure I don't forget. I have four curses. I need one more curse, though. And I only have one more question mark room coming up. That might be a problem. Um, all right, so here, starting off with normality is annoying. Let's do mental fortress, battle him, and like water. Actually, it allows me to be fully defended. Good. Hmm. All right. And then 26. Uh, so here, let's do... Uh, let me see what the madness hits, then cut through fate. Okay. Uh, there's an apparition. That's really nice. So let's do the apparition, and then I can do bowling bash. Pressure points and smite. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I think without the apparitions, my life would have been much harder. Um, yeah, let's do let's do follow up first, then do apparition. I could do Deva form. No reason not to. Let's also just to be safe play to the CV reality just to make sure I have a safety on hand. Okay. Hmm. It's a lot of incoming. Um, yeah, if I do if I enter wrath, I might have trouble. Let's do the prostrates. Then pressure points, smites are enough to kill this one, and then I can do safety, and that allows me to be fully defended. Good. Mm -hmm. Oh no, with the burn, I'm actually taking one damage, which is fine. Uh, fasting, flurry of blows, prostrate, consecrate. Okay, and then might as well do smite and moment strike. Oh, uh, right, I completely forgot I, ha uh, I had the unseen top. That might allow me a way to get combo. Mm hmm. All right, another apparition. Let's do that. Although I guess, yeah, now I sort of regret taking the uh, stone cavalry because that would kill most enemies. Got pocket watch. Whenever you play three or less cards during your turn, draw three additional cards at the start of your next turn. That's really good. Mental fortress, empty fist. I already have enough empty fist. Let's take the mental fortress, I guess. Although against the awakened one, it's a little annoying. No curse, but lots of gold. All right, I think there's no chance for me to get curse anymore. So at the shop, I will first remove the rare card and then remove the curse, which is unfortunate. I'll probably remove the normality, right? I can pretty much buy everything. Let's take Gremlin Horn. Whenever an enemy dies, skin energy and draw one card. Ancient T side, whenever the entire side, our next combo with two extra energy. Do I want Strange Spoon card to exhaust when played when instead discard 50% of the time? I don't think that's necessary. Um, let's take another Battle Him, Empty Body, Consecrate, Sands of Time, and yeah, just wait. Okay. And then here, let's remove the Normality, one of them at least. Uh, where is it? Down here. Okay. Let me make sure one two three four i had i had only four curses right let me sort by type just to make sure i don't mess this up so attacks then you have curses yeah only have four nothing i could have done about that all right um yeah let's remove that normality and then uh let's definitely take ceramic fish when we add a card to your deck gain nine gold dream catcher one of you rest you may add a card into your deck and hand drill one of you break an enemy's block apply to vulnerable can't take any of the potions unfortunately there's another study is that study number four no, it's only study number three. That's a bummer. I was definitely offered another study at some point. I can still take it. Let's also take Sash Whip. Um, evaluate. Dark Shackles is pretty good. And I can afford these two as well. All right. Yeah, fine. At least I uh, emptied out all my gold. I do wonder if that early question mark room I skipped would have made a difference. I, th I don't think I'll upgrade anything here. Let's rest back to full HP. And also get another card reward. Um, cut through Fate follow-up or Wheel Kick. I had enough Cut through Fates. Uh, wait, did I? Yes. And Wheel Kicks... Uh, wait, did I have enough follow-ups? Let me check that first. No, I needed one more follow-up. I only had one wheel kick. Yeah, all right. I got a collector bonus out of that dream catcher one, so that's good. No potions. That's going to be tough. So, like water generally is worth it. Also, uh, does it allow me to perfect? I don't think it does. If I play the like water, I won't be able to play the battle him. 
because that will give the enemy extra strength and I won't be able to survive that. So let's do Consecrate Sash Whip and then just wait and really hope for some miracles in the next few turns. I guess I'm triggering the Pocket Watch, so that's good. Okay. All right, lots of incoming. Luckily, the back line is still weakened. I do have two follow-ups. No block, though, other than the third eye. Um. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do here, right? Although I do have the Grumman, Gremlin Horn, so if I can kill one of them, let's do Flurry of Blows, follow-up one and two. Okay. Then Bowling Mash. All right. And then Crush Joints after playing the third eye. Rush down like water, Flurry of Blows. Let's get rid of... Actually, another like water... Would be no, it's not enough. Also, will give the enemy extra strength. Yeah, let's get rid of everything here and really hope for something better. Fasting doesn't do it. No, nothing I could have done. Just unlucky turn two draw, basically. Yeah, yeah, nothing I could have done, right? Yeah, even if I played the second like water, I still had this cultist to that deal dealt damage, so. Yeah, I sort of just needed an apparition. That, that would have solved my problem. So let's do Flurry of Blows, follow up, Dark Shackles. And then I'll do Flying Sleeves. Should I do Study? No, let's just kill this one with a Windmill Strike. And then um, I think I'll wait. Okay. Hmm. All right, 22. There's a Pain that's annoying. I don't think I'll do Rush Down. Let's do Prostrate, Deceive Reality. Um, and then I don't think I need Safety. Let's just do the Sense of Time then. Come. Okay. Trigger the Pocket Watch again next turn. Good. Another 22, there's an apparition, let's do Sash Web, Cut Through Fate, Crescendo, I already have one, do I need a second one? I don't think so, I do. Third Eyes 10, yeah, I think I'll just, instead of playing the apparition, I'll just do two Third Eyes, curate my next hand. Okay, uh, Protect Tranquility, Cut Through Fate is good, let's keep the, actually, let's keep all three of them, okay. Uh, Time-wise, I already missed the Light Speed Modifier, right? All right, 24, uh, let's do Crush, Join Swift Strike, Cut Through Fate. I don't need any of these. I could do Crescendo, then Tranquility. Um, although, yeah, I need 24. I think instead I'll just do Protect, Miracle, Pressure Points, and... Actually, I didn't need that Miracle. Yeah, I thought I'd need to play another Safety, but I didn't need to because I had enough lock from the Like Water. Okay, 22. Uh, let's do... I don't think I'll do Mental Fortress. Let's do Prostrate, Crescendo. Play the Flurry of Blows, then do Empty Fist. It's a good amount of damage, actually. And more Flurry of Blows... Another Empty Fist. And then I could do Tranquility again here. That'll be 12. Let's also do... Oh, more Flurry of Blows, right? Okay. Then Evaluate. And that allows me to almost be fully defended. Let's do the Protect Minus Wall. All right. Look at that. Stone Calendar helping me there. Okay. 42. Um, I think I'll just do Protect, Safety, and Study. Okay. Yeah. It was just basically turn number two. I was in the, No, two was fine. Three. No, it was the turn number two. I wasn't able to fully defend. Just got a little unlucky. Should I do another fasting? I need another skill and attack. Yeah, so let's do fasting. Um, let's do a skill like the pressure points, okay? And then just lucky. All right, Avalid is pretty good, although I think I'll just do another like water here. Oh, actually, no, let's do empty mine because I have to tranquility. All right, then flurry of blows, like water, and then tranquility. Come, okay. and more flurry of blows. Good. All right. Yeah, definitely no chance. Even if I perfected that second turn, uh, this turn after the transformation or turn after. Yeah, I guess I got super lucky with apparitions in the past. But this is the fight where it mattered to get lucky with the apparitions and I didn't. Also, I guess one could argue I should have saved some potions for the boss fight. And maybe sacrifice not perfecting some elites for it. But yeah, that's fine. Should I try to get overkill and combo here? It might be difficult, but it might be worth a try. Especially if I have so many like waters ready already. Uh, let me see. So I do have a lot of insights. Um, I guess for overkill... I don't think I have enough. Uh, I don't think I have what it takes to get overkill. Let's do prostrate. Another study. Yeah, you know what? Let's try to get overkill. Why not? Or not overkill. I mean um, combo here. Uh, let's do cut through fate. Um, there is another insight coming up and a fear no evil. Or fear, uh, fear no evil? Something like that. I don't want to deal enough damage. But I don't want to deal too much. Okay, so there's the fear no evil. Which I need to do to enter combo. Or I could just do wallop. For 26 block. Let's do that. I have to be careful not to accidentally kill. Actually, let's do Tranquility here too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if I'm already wasting time or not getting... Ooh, this might be difficult. 36. I have to play Protect and Safety, right? Yeah, now I don't have any... I guess I still have the Perseverance. That should give me enough block. Okay. Mm -hmm. Apparition is really good. 
Uh, wait, so I need a bunch of insights. Let me wait a little bit. Okay. Hmm. Another 20. I'm fully defended thanks to the Yorkalcum. So now I'm basically just waiting for enough to have enough insights. Ooh, 36. That's the problem though, right? I do have the Perseverance. Okay, no more good defensive cards though. So yeah, I think next turn I have to try to get combo. Or, okay, when if it's still 20, um, 20 that's fine. Because I have 21 with the Yorkalcum. Yeah, this is where I think I have to... Uh, let's start with Flying Sleeve. So it's 1... Two, three. Oh, I don't have energy. Oh, that's a problem. Four, five, six, seven. How many voids do I have? And one more. All right. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19. Okay, I did get combo. That's really good. And then I should be able to kill with a flurry blows. All right, awesome. Okay, I got combo at the end, which is nice. I could have gotten overkill. I think against a Gen Head, I was dealing 96 damage, not 99. We got 1,600 exactly, which is not too bad. Of the. Oh, uh, no, I didn't skip any elites, so that's good. Out of the 10 elites, I perfected eight of them, which is not bad. But I only got two of the three bosses. No chance against the third one. Got uh, didn't get overkill, but I got combo popper ten collector monsters, which is not too bad. Mister Machine, I do wonder if I had taken that early question mark room, if that would have changed the RNG enough for me to be able to get um, curses as well, because I end up with four curses. Although I did remove one of them at the end. Um, yeah, I can't be too upset about this, but uh, let's see where I stand in rankings. Definitely another 100 points with another perfected boss at the end would have been possible. Okay, so I did make it in uh, the top 20 right now. Two points below Steven. That could be because at one point I decided to rest instead of going for a uh, regular fight. That would explain it, right? Because I think I was a little low on HP and I was a little worried. Theoretically, another 100 points by perfecting the last boss would have given me 1,700. That would, have, would not have put me that far far higher up, 15th place. And if Opal got about 25 points more than that... Um, same with Mike. P Jam got 200 points more than what I did. I do wonder if that means Cursive was possible. And then uh, Cita got 225 points more, 227 to be exact. Yeah, I suspect there's something going on with the RNG differences by skipping that early, early uh, question mark room. And that was just completely my mistake. Anyway, let's review the scores from yesterday. So yesterday was a silent run with the All-Stars Vintage and Big Game Hunter modifier. I think a lot of people enjoyed that one. Not many deaths yesterday, at least none in, the, in my comments. So yeah, I think a lot of people did really well. Uh, very upset in that with 1595. That's a great score. Um, so first of all, I should mention yesterday, a few people were able to get combo in Highlander and some people either missed both or decided from the beginning not to get, uh, not to get, not to go for curses. And so very upset got the score without going for curses, which is very impressive. Um, so he didn't try at the very beginning, but also interesting, didn't get the Necronomic curse event so he would not have been able to get the curse modifier even if he tried um and then also towards the end he maximized regular fights rather than question mark rooms because there's no desire to go for curses right so that makes sense i was able to get overkill and combo perfected 11 all the elites 11 of the 11 got all the bosses highlander of course and then um uh, there's also an interesting difference some people yesterday bottled the upper the adrenaline just like me and very upset at that too other people bottled the um the malaise uh, which is something that Kirkus did uh, but yeah so very upset got a really good score theoretically if he had gotten curses although i think with curses it would have been very difficult for him to perfect everything as it was evidenced by the fact that everybody else who got curses wasn't able to perfect everything uh, he would have had 1695 which makes me think that everything above that pretty much are glitch on so um i'm pretty sure yeah everything about 1700 can't can't seem to be legit anyway really good score congratulations to very upset um yeah then you have crocus here with 1593 and crocus perfected 10 of the 11 elites all the bosses went for highlander curses and got really lucky with that as did i so yeah was able to get overkill and combo um he got combo by using multiple potions um yeah but was able to get it which is impressive not many people got that as i mentioned bottled the malaise and then interestingly took the busted crown um so he realized that because of vintage there's not that much card opportunities anyway so he decided to just grab the extra energy now i didn't take it because i did th I, I do generally not like busted crown because usually you'd like to get some choices in your cards and um yeah but it did work out for Kirkus, so congratulations then you have pgem here with 1589 pgem perfected nine of the 11 elites two more than i did um and i think otherwise had basically the same score as i did uh he realized that he could have perfected more with better luck and card draw um actually could have perfected more if i uh played better uh then you have anti here with 1564 anti perfected 10 of the 11 elites all the bosses didn't get the necronomic necronomic curse event and also somewhat accidentally took the Om omori so there's no chance for anti to get the curse modifier um and then was also able to get combo by um playing one extra potion a power potion against a giant head to get to his 20th card so congratulations i think anti and uh, Krokus are the only ones who got a combo yesterday 
Then you have Roland here with 1560, Mike and I with 1545, Danon with 1543. Danon protected all the elites and all the bosses, but didn't get curses, accidentally picked up the Omomori, and then at that point it was already too late to get curses. So yeah, it's a shame, but still got a pretty decent score. Also, again, I would be surprised if he would have, wouldn't, would be able to perfect everything with curses. Then you have David with 1541. Uh, David perfected 10 of the 11 elites, all the bosses, went for Hanlon and didn't get curses. David mentioned that he was a little worried that he might not, not have been doing well with curses, so he didn't take it. Also, the, the two days before that, David died, and so... I realized yesterday that um, I think it was the pain or the regret. One of those cards was dealing a lot of damage, and I was a little worried that I might die too. So I do think it's a reasonable thing to try to avoid dying again. Um, it was able to get overkill, uh, got the time modifier. I like shiny and had exactly 35 cards. Um, so yeah, was able to get two points more than me. Congratulations. You can check out his Twitch stream. Then you have me here with 1539. I perfected seven of the 11 leads, although Artyom actually mentioned that I could have perfected one more lead. Uh, the Sentry's Fight on Act 1, I had, um, I had a malaise that for some reason I didn't realized would have applied enough weakness and uh, defense for the Orkakum to allow me to be fully defended. Um, yeah, so I could have gotten an extra 25 points there. Perfect all the bosses, got Highland and Curses, very lucky with that. Actually, the way I got Curses is because I had the Regret. It was a Regret, I remember, it was in the pain. And um, because the Regret was dealing so much damage, I decided to take the Astrolabe and transform it. And because of that, later on, I got another regret. But because I had transformed the first regret, I was able to get the Highlight modifier. Some people did not get as lucky as I did with that. Uh, and then I also realized that I missed the well-fed modifier because I only got um, 10 extra max HP. And um, there's definitely more max HPs uh, through relics in shops. And some people were able to get the well-fed modifier, but I missed that. So an easy 50 points that I missed there. Then you have Malzan here with 1535. Malzan perfected 10 of the 11 elites, all the bosses. I didn't get the curses. Malzan usually removed to regret uh, end up with four curses in total in the end which is a shame um yeah I, I think yesterday i i really wanted to get rid of the regret and i'm glad i transformed it rather than removing it malzan was one of the people who was able to get well fed thanks to relics and it also took the runic pyramid instead of the astrolabe i guess without the regret there's no real reason to transform things um so yeah still made it uh, in the top 60. No family names here. Then you have Goldbear with 1489. Uh, Goldbear perfected 10 of the 11 elites, all the bosses. Got Highlander, but unfortunately got the duplicate curse, as I mentioned. Um, I had a, I, I got offered two regrets, but I transformed one of them. And I guess Goldbear didn't get so lucky. So yeah, missed the curse modifier. Had to remove the duplicate to keep Highlander. And as a result, missed the curse modifier, which is a shame. Then you have Peltzer with 1468. Um... And then I did want to scroll down to Panda score. Uh, Sita ended up with 1439. That's same with Panda with 1439. Panda also missed the curses, decided early not to take them, but and then also took Omori, so there's no chance of getting curses anyway. Um, and then also took was one of the people who took Buster Crown because he felt that the card choices were not that important. Um, yeah, I guess it worked out in some cases, it didn't work out in Panda's case. And then you also have George with 1437 and Cosmino with 13, uh, 1437 as well. So yeah, finally a run yesterday where I think most people were able to at least survive. And then today uh, was a good run. Did I see? Yeah, I think there are a few new new names here. So PJM and Pelts, um, I forget which of these names were, were was here before. Um, but yeah, so people did really well here. Let me know in the comments if you were able to get um, curses, if that was the secret. Or if you just got more collectibles, which is definitely doable too. And I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.